Hello and welcome to Blue Harvest Vintage Toys. As you know, I went to um, Leeds the other day uh, just to uh, see what was out there. There was quite a lot, but the, uh, the the thing that got me was the prices, especially in Forbidden Planet. The price of the 40th anniversary was twenty pound, well as the uh, vintage collection was eighteen pound. So it's two pound difference between a six inch. And a four inch, three and three quarter. So it's not it's not only the vintage figures that have um, risen in price. It looks like these have risen too. They're not going to sell at that price. The the they must have thought, oh well, we'll sell we're selling these at a lower price. We'll put the price up, which is unfortunate because they won't sell them at that price point. But I also went to the entertainer, where uh, last year you could get the vintage collection for five pound fifty i know there was there was very few there but uh it was nice just to pick them up for a five pound fifty there was ray um gin and dr afra i actually picked up a couple of dr afras with them being five pound fifty but uh going in yesterday they are now nine pound and as you can see the um the last jedi wave uh now they, they were at three pound thirty three but they are now at five pound i think they are i saw some of the dc universe figures in forbidden planet that were at 23 pound which um so, some of them yeah it's the right price point but uh, i have seen a lot of the dc universe multiverse figures at b m for 15 pound so it just it's a matter of shopping about really uh, i said as i said game was selling a lot of figures off and they do seem to have a lot more figures than they used to have. They had a lot of DC Multiverse and Legends. Uh, the, uh, not a lot of Legends, but uh, they had a couple and they were selling them off. A lot of Funkos. Uh, the brand new Funkos as well, they were selling off. And on a related subject, Hasbro's revenue fell 29%. Uh, store closures, product shortage, hurt sales and shares have dropped. They did say that uh, they will be have to, having to raise prices and uh, I don't think this is to do with the raised prices in entertainment and places like that. I know um, I know Forbidden Planet do import a lot of their items and obviously that gives that them a, the, the chance to raise prices. I just It just baffles me why you're paying £25 for a Mandalorian and I know it's I know people want the Mandalorian, and you're going to put the price up, but they're all the same same type of figures. They should be all the same price. So you get you you getting them at the same price. So why not sell them at the same price? And uh, as I'm going going back to the vintage collection again, it just baffles me why they are eighteen pound when uh, the fortieth anniversary are twenty pound. And the reason for Hasbro raising the prices is because of um well what they're blaming as live action tv and film production has been hindered by the pandemic and um but animation hasn't really so that doesn't stand up to me and also the uh, air freight price has risen as well but seeing as they don't ship that much that's uh, quite baffling to me they've scaled down the factories in china down to I think it's 55 percent I think I want to get down to 50 percent but um, they are now trying other factories which makes sense I mean they tried that last year and they did admit that the figures that they were going to produce were going to be as the price point of the, the figures is going to remain the same the quality of the figure is going to lessen so it's something to bear in mind there when you're buying Hasbro and when you're buying modern figures so I hope you enjoyed that quick little price rant so please subscribe thank you for watching i'm the toys be with you